<laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Mark. Uh, some, of you, some of you might know me, but if you don't, I'm, I'm, I'm Anna's husband. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about bread, specifically sourdough bread. Um, Anna mentioned that some of you had uh, commented on a few different videos and Instagrams about um, the process of me like baking my sourdough and my start and that kind of thing, so here's a video talking about it. The bread it. The bread it. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Get it, get ready. <laughs> but don't worry about if uh, you miss anything in the video, um, there's going to be obviously there's going to be loads of information in the description box below, and also we're going to be putting a blog post together for you so that'll have everything you need, all the information that you need. Okay, so this is going to be a three day process, um, we're on day one obviously, and day one is where we refresh the starter. So this is a starter that I've already made or cultivated, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is a, a strong white bread flour starter. Um, it's a BBC Good Food recipe, again the link will be in the description box. Um, so what we're basically going to do is, I actually already did it this morning because you know, I woke up at 7 o'clock. Because you know, check me out. <laughs> so what I did, I uh, half the starter, half the amount of starter that was in there. Uh, I haven't discarded it, I've kept it because we're going to make some lovely crumpets with it later on. Apparently there's going to be another video that will include that in it. Vlog coming on Wednesday featuring the crumpets if you're interested. <laughs> Can't wait for those crumpets. I'm I know, I'm, I'm excited, I'm hungry. So I took half the starter out, that's in there, that's going to be used for the crumpets. And then I added 100 grams of organic strong white bread flour to it and also 100 grams of water. So that's just refreshing the starter um, and you can see... She's already getting uh, a bubbly. A bit bubbly. A bubbly. A bubbly. <laughs> Boobells. <laughs> Boobells. I also forgot to mention that this is uh, this is Pauline. My starter is called Pauline. My other starter is called Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey and Pauline, if you don't know, are the two people who are very lovely and are on Instagram. Jeffrey Walker and Pauline Walker. Cute. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so I have obviously put the flour on the water in the starter and now we just leave it for 24 hours. Um, come back tomorrow morning and start making our dough. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Filming? Yeah. Okay, I've got loads of crusty bits in my eyes. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to day two of the uh, the Reddit. That's what we're calling it, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so, uh, my start has been resting for 24 hours. Pauline was getting very bubbly. Um, she's dropped a little bit overnight, but I think, you know, she seems to be, she seems to be pretty good. Have a look in there. So the next step is to test if the starter is ready. Now this is always a bit nerve wracking. I've got to take my spoon and basically get a little bit of starter out and put it in this glass of warm water. And if it floats, then it's ready to use. And if it doesn't float, it's not ready. So here we go. Big moment. Drum roll, please. Let's get a little bit, a little bit, like not a lot. I'm not going to get that much. And then we just go in with it. One quick move. Here we go, buddy! Woo! She floating. She floating. Beautiful. Oh, it's always so satisfying when it floats. There you go. God, that's a relief. <laughs> okay, so this morning, so I've checked when my start is good, and it is. Um, like I said, it's uh, floating. And we now need to make the Levan. I've looked at what Levan means, and apparently it just means starter, which is a little bit confusing because we've already done the starter. But anyway, we're making this thing called a Levan. It's essentially a little bit of the starter and some more flour and water. So a bit like when you would feed your starter anyway. So I guess that makes sense. Um, so we take a tablespoon of the starter. We've got 100 grams of the organic strong bread flour and 100 grams of water. So I'll put that all in this bowl, mix it up, and then we leave that for eight hours. Okay, so I've put my flour and my water and my starter, which is under there somewhere in my bowl. So this is basically the bowl that I'm gonna use for the duration of the making of the dough. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So I'll mix this up, cover it with cling film, and leave it in my warm spot in my house. Oh, hello again. It's the afternoon now. We've had a lovely, we've had a lovely day so far. Um, so, this is the Levan that I've got in here. It's been sitting for eight hours. It's a little bit bubbly. So now we're gonna um, basically start making our dough. I've got 600 grams of water and I've got a, a thousand grams or a kilo of the organic strong white bread flour ready to put into this mixture. So first things first is I'll put the water into the Levan, 600 grams of it. That sort of like breaks up the Levan. 
and I'm just going to mix that in with a spatula. You don't need to worry too much about the bits, but get it mixed in as well as you can. 500 grams, 500 grams. Whoa, nearly. Right then, so I have mixed all the starter, oh sorry, okay. Right then, so I've mixed all the Levan, the water and the flour together and I've got this kind of quite stiff, kind of rough dough. It took us probably about 10 minutes, did you say? About 10 minutes to basically get it to this point. It gets really heavy and like really hard to like work together. So if you get in with your hands, like do that. I like dampen my hands a little bit at one point, like not wet, but just like damp. So it just helps it like, helps the dough like not stick to your hands. I don't know whether that's probably the right thing to do, but anyway. So now that that's done, we'll cover the bowl with cling film and leave it in our warm spot again for anything from 30 minutes up to four hours. Um, we'll probably leave it for about an hour today because that's about the time we've got. So, um, so yeah, we'll come back in an hour. No, it's not the morning, I have just had a shower. Um, I did like 15 minutes of workout and then gave up. I was like, ah, no, I can't bother tonight. <laughs> so anyway, cool story, bro. So this is our dough. I've let it sit for, what was it? Oh, an hour, just over an hour, probably. Yeah, just over an hour. It's looking nice and doughy. Lovely. Um, and now we're gonna be put, putting in our salt. So 20 grams of salt and 50 grams of water. And then I'm just gonna basically pinch and scrunch the salt and the water into the dough. Now it goes a bit like chewing gum texture. You just got to keep going, keep keep kind of pinching, keep scrunching until it's like forms a smooth dough again. So you can see it's kind of already starting to go a bit like chewing gum texture. Just got to keep going, keep pinching, keep scrunching. Got to make sure you work all that water in and all that salt into the dough. Do you want to come have a look? I'd love to. Yeah. So we've pinched and scrunched the salt and the water into the dough and it's formed a kind of smooth-ish dough. <laughs> I think it's smooth. <laughs> so now we cover it with the cling film again and we wait another 15 minutes and then it's time to fold the dough. Okay so the dough has been sat for 15 minutes and now we are ready to fold the dough so I'm just going to wet my hands a little bit. Riveting content. <laughs> and then we're going to fold the dough on itself so we're going to work from one side pull it up and over to this side and then we'll grab the bottom side pull it up and over to the top side and then we're going to pull each side in as well. And then on the folded side, we're going to then turn the dough over and kind of work it in on itself on the corners. And then we're going to let it sit again for half an hour and then repeat the process under a further two times. So you would have done three sets of folds in total. And at the end of that, we then leave it for two to three hours before we take the dough out and then shake the dough into the bannetons. Now grab this side of the dough, pull it over this side. <laughs> we grab it over that way. It'd be a bit sticky, but and then this side, I'm gonna grab it up and over. And then this side, just get it, and then put it over like that. The dough's a bit wetter than I thought. Well, than I think it should be, but we're here now. So, <laughs> I've kind of got to let it do its thing. Can you not turn around? Can you just always be face on with the camera? Because otherwise it shows the terrible haircut that I gave you. No, turn around, turn around. Okay, so we've come to the end of day two. Um, and it's time for me to get the dough out of the bowl onto a floured work surface, split the dough in two. Um, the dough will then need to be shaped into kind of like rounds. And then after that, I will let it sit for another half an hour. And then after that, they then get put into the banneton. Uh, or I'm also using, as I've got two banetons, I've only got one. I'm going to use a colander. Um, both of them will be lined with some linen tea towels that we've got. And, uh, and then they'll go in the fridge overnight. This is a very tense, <laughs> intense bit. So I obviously flat out my surface. I let the dough rest for 30 minutes. And now we just turn those out with the seam side up into the banetons, as you can see here. So this is kind of like the bit which I've like stitched a bit together at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take one of the linen cloths and just put that over that and put it in the fridge overnight. So join me in the morning. Do you not wanna film this one? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Next one we're using the colander with the actual linen tea towel in it already. Like you see I floured it. So I'm just gonna grab this, holding it so that it's folding it a bit on the bottom. Hey. So last thing we just flour the bottom a little bit and then put our linen cloths over it. Morning everyone. Um it's pretty early in the morning. We both seem to wake up really early today. So it's like half six. <sighs> Still pretty tired, but um 
Yeah, so final day and it's baking day. Just traced the Dutch oven onto the baking paper um, and put the Dutch oven in the oven. Uh, the oven is on, so I'll leave that all for probably about an hour or so, maybe a bit more, and then we can start putting them in the oven. Um, I'll just quickly show you what the parchment looks like. So as you can see, this is the size of our Dutch oven, and I've literally just put I put the Dutch oven on here, drew around it with a pencil, and now I'm just going to cut it out. And in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. So the oven is on, it's heated up, and the Dutch oven is in the oven. So that's been heating for just over an hour. And now I'm just going to flour this um, plate, which has got our little uh, bits of baking parchment on. So I'll flour that. I'll grab one loaf out at a time from the fridge and then turn the loaf out onto this. Working quickly, I'll grab the Dutch oven out of the oven, get the lid off, slide this into the Dutch oven, put the lid back on, put it back in the oven, and then it stays in there for 30 minutes. And then we take the lid off, and then there's a bit of 10 minutes of cooking. Okay? Okay. Is the film in me? I didn't know if you were going to do something interesting. <laughs> Liberally flour it. Okay. So which one should we go for first? Let's go for the harder one first, right? The colander one. So do you want to have a look at this rather than me? So this is the one that was in the colander. That's what it looks like at the moment. Lovely. Prod, prod, prod. A little bit, am I? Boing. I don't really know what it's supposed Just to be like. Sound that. effect. Again, work relatively quickly here. And then you basically just turn it out with that seam side down. Three, two, one. We need to score the top, don't we? It's well flat. And I'm just going to score it over like that. And then we can do, what's he, what's he say? One shot, one, one shot, one kill, Vinny. Ready? Ready? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's good to go. Put the lid back on. So, put the timer on for 30 minutes. Why are you doing it so close to my face? <laughs> <laughs> I realised I forgot to say earlier on the oven should be at about 200, or it should be at 220 degrees centigrade. Okay, so half an hour's up, so it's time to take the lid off and see, see if she's any good. <laughs> oh yeah, oh and that was good as previous. Hey, she looks good! So we still leave her in there for another 10 minutes. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> 10 minutes is up, and she's ready to take out. So, sorry, I'm, I'm part way from my breakfast. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks much better. Woo! Got my cooling rack out ready. He's done this before. Say my first rodeo. There you go. It's a bit, bit flatter than previous ones, but listen. She sounds hollow, so that's good. That's all good. She looks good. Right, time After to do that one. all over again. <laughs> okay, so we've waited a couple of hours. Many so. hours. Many I'm hours later. Like four. <laughs> and they're uh, ready to cut in, so um, let's right. go for it. Let's Fingers cut, crossed. Cut into it. Fingers crossed. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Well, it's not my best work. I think the dough is a bit too wet. Not your so. best work, but I mean, I will still eat that. I think we'll need to toast it. Toasting is totally cool. Sometimes this happens. We've had. Great success. We've had not much success. This is somewhere in the middle. Bakers of the world, what did we do wrong? She holy, but just on the top. That's fun yeah, though. Yeah, massive, <laughs> like massive air holes in it though, right? Let's troubleshoot. What do we think was different with this dough? So, slightly different flour, I think. Different flour to the first white one that we used. This was an organic, strong flour. Previously we used a stone ground white bread flour, so that could be the problem. Didn't change any of the amounts or that kind of thing. The dough seemed quite wet when we were um, when I was um, folding it. Yeah, when you were folding it and covering it, you were yeah. saying it felt like a little bit wetter than usual. Yeah, it did. Well, than usual, the, the one previous time <laughs> I did. So yeah. Let's well, try you know, it. Trial and error. Yeah, let's give it a go. Give it a go. That bit's got my name written all over it. Thank you very much. See, it's interesting because it's kind of like super puffy in some areas and then it feels tighter and dense in others. Yeah, maybe I'll just eat the top bit. Oh, I mean, it still tastes great. Yeah, it still tastes good. I mean, like, it's, you know. It's bread. Yeah. Hmm. I can't troubleshoot it. I'm not baker, so. What did we do wrong? Tell us. Tell us. Thank you. Okay, so it's not the best bread that I've made, but it's not the worst bread. We're still going to eat it. We'll probably toast some up and eat it with our lunch. So check out the description box below. I'll have all the information 
in it that you need. Um, the blog post will be linked and the recipes that I've used previously will be linked as well. Yeah, hope you get on okay. Yeah, let us know how you get on and uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy, eat some bread. Ready, steady, bake! Bake! <laughs>